all right with a red dot on the on the uh, screen and someone you know that's blue we got welcome to shield so we're gonna be using uh, Nomura uh, and then whatever two star three star four and five characters that are going to uh, be needed as essential nodes all right, so it looks like we're going to be going up face off against Bishop here. Uh, at least it's the the watered down version of Bishop, and not the whoa Bishop that that ruined everybody's day back in the day. All right, so his um, his red ability is overclock, and it costs six. And what it'll do? It'll create a fortified black countdown tile on the board where Bishop absorbs uh, the amount of damage given to him and then after the countdown tile explodes I think it'll do like 100% of the damage uh, that he absorbed so you know it's it's decent it's not like how it how it was how it was is just just it mean just stupid it's like hey you make a match with a five star it's like oh hey bishop jumps out in front and then just just clobbers him with a whole bunch of damage like why all right now his blue ability uh is both an active and a passive so the passive portion because i'm trying to remember here uh I'm trying to remember it it's a general reserves does that does that give him the AP yeah if he's out in front yeah he gains uh, one blue AP and it creates a protectile and then if Bishop has at least eight or more uh, blue AP then it becomes energy conversion and what energy conversion does it stuns the target for some number of turns and then uh, deals damage and then converts back to general reserves so we're gonna be so Bishop is gonna be getting uh eight blue AP in about eight turns, uh, give or take with matches and whatnot. And then finally his for the future ability, this costs ten, is both an active and a passive. Um the active portion for ten uh converts the enemy's fossil tile to a friendly protectile, and if there are six or more friendly protectiles on the board uh, then, you, then you convert um, two friendly protectiles and five basic tiles to blue tiles so you can see that all that there is gonna gonna feed into general reserves and you know nastiness will ensue but again it's not as it's not as nasty as it uh, used to be uh, his affiliation mutants x-men uh, I think that might be it I you know not quite sure but I know those two affiliations are for sure so no more we're gonna actually take a look at her because well um you know hey she's brand new and I I looked at her abilities on on the forum she seems kind of solid for um a four star so uh, her cut once ability is both an active and a passive so actively it deals damage to the target and then regains five, eight, 5 AP if the target is down so so this here would probably be good for um, wave nodes of sort because people like oh I don't know or Corye or or even the oh my goodness the five-star version of Thor you know can generate can generate uh, red AP in the case of Thor and then make cut once hit a little bit more powerful in the case of Okoye and wave notes and then her match damage and ability damage is increased by six percent for each blue basic tile on the board so so what you want to do is you want to try and have uh, blue basic tiles on the board not blue charge tiles not blue tiles that have um, 
anything special upon him, just basic blue tiles. Her no obstacles ability, uh, this one costs eight. It's both an active and a passive. Uh, it, so this one here deals team damage and destroys two enemy projectiles. And then her match damage is increased by 4% for each enemy projectile destroyed or matched by allies up to seven. So we probably at higher levels, we probably want to uh, increase her match and ability damage, you know, up to 10. Again, to destroying the enemy, you know, tiles. I mean, yay, that's a bonus, but you know, want to up her match damage and her ability damage. And then finally, Empire's Might is her purple ability that costs six. She creates uh, four trap tiles in her, her colors, red, green, and purple, or red, green, or purple. And if it's matched, and if one of her ta uh, trap tiles is matched away, she deals damage, ignores projectiles, and then steals two AP and that tile's color, and then she converts a random basic tile to blue. So, so it's a trap tile that uh, that'll convert uh, blue AP and then steals AP and in red, blue, I mean red, purple, or green, which that sounds kind of cool. Uh, as far as her affiliations go, heroes, non-humans. So let's just get into the fight. Uh, again, you know, I'm just throwing in random team ups because why not? So again, since we can't be stunned, Bishop can't be stunned. Um, let's just focus on getting her mass damage up. You know, putting out, putting out protectiles. Well, since it doesn't down opponents, now I wonder if it's matched away by us. Okay, yeah. So it doesn't matter if it's matched away by by the opponent or by us. That's good. Matched away both of these projectiles here. Uh, let's prevent Bishop from getting any more yellow. Probably could have went with the match five there. I probably could have. Like I said, pretty, pretty straightforward against Bishop. I mean, it's a good, good uh, chance to see her abilities, but, you know, Bishop not being able to stun people, you know, hey, it would have been annoying, but I digress. All right, so let's see here. Well, we can't really use Nico because she can't stun. But it would be interesting to see how Nico would work against uh, Namor. So let's use let's use Nico. And plus two, you know, for those who are playing Marvel's Midnight Suns. Well, there you go. The 
kidnap uh, Namor, one of her powers. Now remember, we can't really match, uh... Colors in the more strongest colors, otherwise... We're gonna be in for a whole heap of trouble. Oh, there it is. Again, Freeze doesn't do us any good, cause again, we don't have any enemy... Enemy special tiles on the board to, you know, to necessarily remove. Well, cut once it's gonna, you know, go past protectiles anyway, so. Here no more, here's some green. Alright, so there goes test your metal there against no more. Alright. Now it's time to uh to warm up with day one with uh Captain Marvel, Ms. Marvel. Uh, she's black, red, and yellow. Uh, sort of similar to okay, uh, Koye's power scheme. Uh, and what she what she does, her red ability. Uh, this costs seven. It deals damage to the target, and then destroys uh, some number of. Uh, protectiles on the board that belong to the enemy and that's it her standout ability is her that's her yellow ability but we're gonna get to that there last her black ability this costs eight and what it'll do it'll create a three turn countdown tile that deals uh, damage to the enemy team uh, it drains AP from a uh, random color from us and then uh, as it creates a three turn count a three turn countdown top that when that expires it deals more team damage to the opponents. And then finally her yellow ability, which is her standout ability, to me anyways, is strategic uh strategic command. I believe that's what it's called. But anyway, what it'll do, it will for nine yellow AP, she will convert um uh, some number of tiles on the board to team up tiles and notice i didn't say i didn't say basic tiles notice i didn't say strike attack protect tiles it's any tiles on the board fortified yeah she'll she'll create she'll turn them into uh into uh team up tiles and then you know that's a good way to fire off your team up ap and you know go from there uh, again, for those who, you know, want something, you know, deep and meaningful for the, uh, for the once, well, for the two-star characters, uh, just know, hey, with these notes here, I'm just trying to get, get through to the, uh, to the four-star notes, because, you know, those there may cause a little trouble for people. Whoops, I thought we hit day one show your stuff so this one here is with uh, the three-star version of Incredible Hulk indestructible uh, green red and black user his green ability uh, it costs 10 do does a board shake and I'm trying to remember here there's something else that it does oh and then uh, it destroys uh, it destroys tiles plus one for every two green AP uh, that the team has. So the more green AP you have, the stronger the thunderous clap will be. All right, his uh, red ability 
uh, this costs 14 what it does uh, it will deal damage to the target and then if there's at least 10 yeah 10 green tiles then it does uh, damage to the um, you say to the allies as well and then also it, it consumes uh, the team's green AP at least 10 of it you know damaging the target and then whatever you know red AP is remaining put it this way we never use smash it's thunderslap and anger that the uh, you say that brings uh, the well the boys and the girls to the yard with the uh, with the Hulk so his anger ability this is a passive anytime that he's uh, damaged for 5% of whatever his health total is, he'll create a one turn countdown tile that yes it does damage to both the enemy and the friendly friendly team. It also creates um you know some green basic tiles on the board. So five of them in fact. So if you get anger to trigger twice, well that's ten free green AP that I mean, 10 free green tiles that you didn't have on the board to begin with. Uh, Hulk's affiliations are, well, it should be Heroes, Avengers, Gamma Mutates, um, let's see here, what else? Uh, Enhanced, Iron Man, Team Iron Man, you know, all the usual stuff. Again, nothing really profound here. Just, you know, add your boost. Uh, make a match with Thanos. You know, hey, you win. Or in this case here, make a match with uh, Ghost Deadpool too, so. There's that. Again, uh, as as for usual, you know, hey, once you uh, let's say use either ver the three star and the fossil version of Deadpool to get some little goodies. Uh, day one toughen up is with Namor, which again, this is pretty fitting. Um, let me think here. Who else I know uses blue? So I guess we could use could use Bishop all right so Namor is a black green and purple user and I know he's got a rework with his skills and abilities so we're going to um, look at him right now uh, Namor's Mercy uh, it costs 10 deals deals a fair amount of damage uh, to the target and then the enemy team gains 4 AP in their strongest color. So think of this here as a uh, reverse version of uh, the three star Black Panther's uh, uh, black ability. Range of the Panther. So instead of it doing, you know, team damage and the, and the enemy team uh, gains AP in their strongest color, it's a single target, single target move that gives them AP. Alright. No, I am not going to yell out Imper Imperius Rex. I'm not going to do it. Is that even though the exclamation point is there, we're not going to do it. Uh, so, he deals damage to enemy team for 12 green uh, for each blue tile on the board, then destroys a random set of tiles uh, in the shape of the Trident of Neptune, and of course, the short tiles don't generate AP. And then at higher levels, more damage, you know, the usual stuff. Now, Atlantis attacks. This one here actually got changed quite a bit too. So originally, uh, it said it would just be five basic tiles to to blue tiles. But what they did, what they changed, was the fact that it's uh, five basic tiles to five blue fortified tiles. And then if there's uh, you know, uh, 10 or more blue tiles on the board, then it does team damage. And all this here is for nine purple AP. Now you can see between uh, Namora 
and Namor. Um, it's a, they, they got a few color conflicts, specifically in the red. I mean, not red, but uh, green and purple. Uh, Namor's affiliations are heroes, mutants. Uh, should be enhanced. Or, uh, well, okay, not enhanced, but heroes, mutants, Illuminati, because he's a member of the Illuminati. Geniuses and non humans. So, yeah, pairing them up with Bishop, yeah, it's totally within within the character. I doubt we'll be able to. I yeah, we will get Atlantis attacks to to trigger after all. After after all these cascades. There you go. All right. Now there's an Amor and Friends, which we'll look at momentarily. Uh, day one test of skill. Ooh, Captain America, the first Avenger. All right, so this one here should be uh, relatively not fun for me, but it'll be you know, something that will it's like that'll be kinda you know, uh, a little bit of a challenge with Cap. So so he's a yellow, red, and blue user just like most uh iterations of Captain America. Uh Earth's Mightiest Heroes is his team damaging move. And this here costs 11 AP, no, 10 AP. And what it'll do, it will, it'll summon some Avengers out in the field and they'll do random things. So think of this here, uh, something similar to uh, uh, Nick Fury's yellow ability, uh, Avengers Assemble. So Scarlet Witch is going to stun somebody. Uh, Winter Soldier is going to, you know, do some damage. Ant-Man's gonna do some stuff. Uh, Falcon's gonna create some protect tiles. Hawkeye's gonna stun. And I think some critical tiles will be made too. And some AP is stolen too. So there's a lot of different stuff that Earth's Mightiest Heroes will do. Shield Bash is his red ability. And this costs 11. And think of this here as a a slightly worse version of the two and three star Captain America's uh, red ability. So what did it do? Um, it'll deal damage to the target, uh, then converts a random basic tile uh, red into a two turn red countdown tile that when the countdown tile reaches zero, it will uh, generate AP uh, and his team's strongest color, and then you gain uh, more AP for each team cap member that you use. So, so again, it's like like I said, it's a worse version of the of the two and the three star version because again, those tiles can be selected. This one here is completely random, so. Coordinated offensive. Now this one here actually pairs up with Earth's Mightiest Heroes. So this here costs seven. Uh, it deals damage to the target, and then for every friendly strike attack and projectile you have on the board, it deals uh, additional damage and then destroys one AP uh, in an enemy's uh, and a any random enemy AP pool, and then at higher levels more damage. Um, you know still deals additional damage and you know the one AP and um in a random color so uh, Captain America's aff affiliations uh heroes Avengers team cap you know the usual stuff again and then what we'll do here again try and get um 
Battery Bird Airborne. So that we can do some stuff. Cap will tank for a hot minute. We'll wait to fire off coordinated offensive because Alright, so there goes the stun. There goes another stun. Far off circling prey again. Get that black AP. That much needed black AP anyways. Create that countdown tile. Get battery bird airborne again. Cap is going to take a little bit of damage, but that's perfectly fine by me. I said you can see that that uh, the cap really needs much more of a uh, a boost in all of his powers because let's just face it, it's it's uncool, bro. Uncool. Alright, so there goes the Namora and Friends token. Here, um. Let me see here. Who do I want to use? Yeah, why not Valkyrie? Why not? Because she gives us, uh, special tiles and. We gotta turn off animations because it's gonna be kind of annoying with uh I said with Valkyrie and her bounty hunter. So let's go ahead and target uh Mockingbird. Fire off Earth Mighty's Hero, stun Riri for two turns, which Which is always a good thing. Bounty Hunter on the decoy. Let, let Namora go. Go airborne. Alright. So it's probably, yep, yeah, on Mockingbird. Okay, cool. I thought I was hitting Mockingbird. I guess I didn't. Oh well. Alright, who is it on? Mockingbird again. Uh, nah, let's go ahead and cut once. At least refund our AP back. And then go ahead and go bananas fire for empires might again go ahead and steal some AP convert some tiles to blue uh, you're gonna you're totally gonna regret that there Riri totally all right 
Uh, no, no obstacles. Go ahead and stun her. Could I go ahead and steal the purple AP? Yeah, I could, but. Ooh, this is gonna suck. For her, not me. Come on, come on, guys. Y'all, y'all. It's like, y'all know this isn't gonna suck for me. I mean, it does suck for me because you guys gotta. Gotta see me, uh. Go through and, and use high level characters and. And hope that the video doesn't turn off on you guys. Alright, day two toughen up against Iceman. Uh. Let's see here, a fortified, fortified user. Well, since we're, since we need some blue AP, well, let's use an Illuminati member, uh, Mr. Fantastic. Oh, don't worry. Tomorrow we're going to use, we're totally going to use Susan Richards because, you know, hey, her and Amor got a thing going on. I mean, you can train all the red AP you want to, Bobby. Dang it, Bobby. Go ahead and put out those, um... Uh, oh my goodness. Protect tiles while we can. Or... Trap tiles while we can. Dang it, Bobby. Oh, well, cool. I said, I really wish no obstacles is they would do uh, enemy special tiles, but I understand why they, they say why they didn't do um, do that there, because that'd be kind of kind of annoying. Yeah, let's go this way here because we don't want him to punch a snowman you can build a snowman all you want to Robert uh, fine I'll, I'll I'll yell it out Imperatus Rex Well, Mr. Fantastic will wake up just in time to to witness the uh, the onslaught and carnage. Well, let's just stun her for for three turns. Again, just keep her stunned for three more turns because you know we don't don't want Scarlet Witch to do anything that we don't want her to do so I 
I think Namora should... No, not quite. She will, though. Alright. And now the final final couple nodes. Uh, show your stuff. Uh, I'll three-star it up real quick with... Uh, Kamala Khan and Storm, even though I know uh, it's going to be a lot, a lot tougher to trigger the Hulk's um, anger, especially with uh, lower level versions of uh, Wasp and, and Luke Cage and All that good stuff. Uh, only thing we need now is just uh, purple AP, and then uh, what? Well, I don't think we need really. Uh, no, I was gonna say we need the purple AP, but yeah, now we actually do. All right, so now. Let's see here, in human stretchiness. Uh, yeah, we can actually do uh, red. Now, storm or lightning strike. Get rid of all these tiles here on the board. Uh, lightning strike again. Gain some more AP. Match five here. Uh, I could be an ignoramus and uh, try and match away uh, wasp tile, but up oh, ah, oh, we actually did get angered the trigger. Nice. So now flip flop all those there in the strike tiles. That'll activate anger even more. All right, cool. In human stretching this blue because I actually want this here to trigger tracking prey again the only thing that matters with that there is if you trigger my anger Again, not really worried about it because hey I'm gonna be healing all this AP I mean all this damage that uh that's been happening to the Hulk so storm do your thing Luke Cage's tiles don't really matter lightning strike again continue to loop the board Gain, uh, again, put in, put in that. Again, doesn't really matter. Uh, popping human stretchiness on red. Get ready to loop the board some more. Pop up Mistress of the Elements again. Again, we don't really use uh, Hailstorm because, well, not really needed. Just trying to get Luke Cage to trigger off my anger, but alas, no. All right, now we need to find some good green. So it looks like maybe blue. Oh yeah, definitely blue. Let's 
let's go this way here normally this here would be a whole lot lot more efficient because i would have already looped the board but hey bad boards are a thing all right now there goes all that green back and now luke case will probably maybe not have another turn we'll see oh you're totally not having another turn put this here on blue all right that's gonna be on yellow because again we want to maximize as much much AP as we can from you know come out and say from our strongest colors try and get as many match files as we can on the board generating AP ah, Carl Lucas you're still getting these turns match five mistress ah we're gonna go no not smash generate all this red another hailstorm well mistress of the elements uh lightning strike Cool, got a match five here. That'll get rid of some. Oh, two match fives. More missions to the elements. Destroy up those team ups. Uh, Hulk is going to be up in front for for this here. Inhuman stretchiness, I guess on red, yeah. Now I guess one strategy you could say do is like yeah, use inhuman stretchiness on black so that Luke Cage doesn't gain uh, any AP in black. I mean, that's a possibility too. All right, yeah, let's let's end let's end this here. I could have been ended it, been ended it, but again, I just wanted to show you show you one of the. Uh, one of the loops okay well again it would have been a loop but yeah all right finally captain marvel uh we'll sum it up in two star land and uh and then go from there because this is the team that i normally use for my uh my deadpool daily so you can have that and even when I'm mad at I think our strongest color is red so from one Captain Marvel to another thanks boost up the damage there Now the the time where I want to still steal purple AP. There's no purple tiles for me to steal. It'd be like that sometimes. All right, well it's time to steal AP from Doctor Strange because he's 
weird. Okay, now it's time for her to use her exploits. Alright, and then Wolverine's gonna. So it's gonna claw. Claw his claws into Gwenpool's face, because. She reminds him of Deadpool. All right, uh, so let's look at the Namora and Friends Vault. Um, get an opportunity for uh, Namora cover plus Namor the Submariner. Uh, your random four-star character there. Legendary token, of course. Up uh, me, of course. And then your uh, basic support tokens. Heroic tokens, uh, mighty tokens, random three stars, random two stars, and you know, isolate. So, again, whatever you get is cool. You know, make sure that you use up all the um, all the tokens because uh, these here don't uh, they. They won't continue to be uh, a thing until the uh, says well until the vault expires. So there you go. Uh, so that's day one, day two of uh, Welcome to Shield. Uh, hopefully, uh, you gleaned some information from uh, from uh, the video uh, to you know things to do, not to do, blah blah blah. Uh, you know, hey, as I always say, be excellent to your fellow human beings. Uh, I'll probably catch y'all on the video Tuesday so that we can do uh, day day three. If not, uh, you know, hey, I'll combine day three and day four into one video uh, after I get off of work on uh, on on Wednesday. But I gotta get some sleep. Uh, Again, like I said, enjoy.